I'd like to welcome our expert panel here today to discuss oncology shaping the future of personalised healthcare. These people are making products which help people like us. So actually we are going to sit down, we are going to talk with them. I don't think we're, we're not going to get away without those discussions being had. I mean there's an incredible amount of work that goes into developing these compounds and um, really finding the right test with the right cutoff, with the right sensitivity specificity is, is really key to a lot of this. As a pharma industry, it's realising that when we produce drugs, it is about more than just those molecules to treat patients. Finding out why things don't work in some groups of patients is equally important. Because, you know, equally personalised medicines can, you know, personalised healthcare approaches can be as much about dealing and avoiding toxicities as, as it is about efficacy. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure that we're ever going to have big impact drugs again. You know, the explosion of, of molecular medicine has certainly left quite a lot of physicians behind. The regulators and the ethics committees want to make sure they are protecting the patients and that is very understandable and that's their job. Sometimes I almost feel like the diag diagnostic information is overwhelming. <laughs> As a cancer patient trying to work in cancer research, more research into accuracy of diagnostics is one really key area. We need to, to think about the disease in a much more longitudinal way and we need to think about tests in a much more longitudinal way. And that then changes the whole way we do drug development. And we have two, in some ways, quite different industries trying to converge here. I think success coming from the diagnostic industry is to not have to say I'm from the diagnostic industry anymore, to say that, you know, we're, we're in this together. You really need a, an answer right then and there by the patient's bedside. We have to accept that it's a much more um, interdigitated relationship than, than perhaps we've been used to. So success would look like that um, every drug in our pipeline, we will be able to know what was the best patient population for that drug. But from the patient perspective, the money being spent is well spent if it helps more people survive cancer a little bit longer or preferably a heck of a lot longer.